A new bird tracking station in the Angeles National Forest is helping scientists learn more about birds that fly through the Southern California on their way around the globe. KCAL's Lori Perez shows us what the data could tell us about the birds and ourselves. There's really no place like it anywhere in Southern California. Very few places like this in all of North America, actually. It's a cloudy day in the San Gabriel Mountains. My name's Chris Spurgeon, and I'm with the Pasadena Audubon Society. But Bear Divide is teeming with life. I'm hearing ravens. I'm hearing mountain quail. I'm hearing... Uh, it's beautiful little birds called dark eyed juncos. While he can pick out the birds by their calls, new equipment in this unassuming little building is tracking them 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And I'm one of the people that helped establish a MODIS bird tracking station. Latin for movement, the MODIS system uses tiny transmitters that have been attached to tens of thousands of birds around the world. Small enough that they can put, be put on even the tiniest bird, even a hummingbird, without, without hurting the bird or, or, or making it harder for them to uh, live their lives. Every time they travel past a receiving station like this one, it automatically makes a phone call to a central repository in Canada where the data is collected for scientists or the public to learn more about when, how and where birds migrate. Just the same the way as uh, say uh, fast pass works on, on the highway. You have these little transmitters in your car and then when you drive past one of the one of the stations, it, it detects it. It's it's the same type of principle, but but for birds. This MODIS station went online last autumn. It's one of only around 1,500 in the whole nation. And Spurgeon says every spring, Bear Divide happens to be one of the country's most important migration paths. When spring migration is happening, we can stand right where we're standing here right now and see literally tens of thousands of little birds shooting up the valley past us over the hill and dropping down into the valley below, flying, flying north for the summer. If we know where they came from and where they go from here, he says humans can better understand how our behavior affects birds and hopefully make better choices for all life. We don't know enough about how the weather affects exactly when they migrate through. We don't know enough about how cutting down trees and turning it into more subdivisions can affect different species of birds. By putting these transmitters on the birds and detecting their, their travels as, as they head north, we hope to learn a, a lot more. In Bear Divide, Lori Perez, KCAL News.